Which one of these can I use on this whiteboard here? Without No, none it, of them. None of them? No, I didn't put out any permanent? any dry erase boards for you. Those are That's for you to okay. sign on top of. I see. I was going to Mitch. maybe sketch catarus. <laughs> many, many catarus. Alright, I'll tell people we're going. Okay, let me Just set up the other thing real quick. What up? Just tweeting about it. Hey, thanks for resubbing. Yeah, thanks. Small Marie Flute. <laughs> I like that name. Small Marie Flute. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're having a streamily signing today. I'm gonna drag the mic a little closer. Um, technically, this is for the uh, Amida Maru Shaman King 2020. One twenty twenty two show, the not reboot, but um, re. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like a reboot, right? It's like the original show minus some of the fluff, so it's like Dragon Ball Kai, but for Shaman King. Yeah, kind of. Shaman King Kai. Sh Shaman, Thank you for Shaman the follow. Oh, Dumpy Twitch streams. Thank you for the follow. I like that name too. Yeah, so obviously, you know, if you're here and you want to buy one of the prints, it doesn't have to be the Shaman King print, though it is up there. We've got all sorts of different fun prints. Many of them I drew with my incredible art talent. Thank you for resubscribing. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see you in Avox. Avox is going to be fun. Uh, it, it's if you're coming to Avox, remember to check out their website because they've got they've got like a kind of weird setup for like merch buying and print buying, um, but it's not too complicated. I think you get like three choices, and then you come to the table, and then we hang out. <laughs> That's basically it. Oh, the camera's up. I'm like looking this way. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get started in just a little bit here. We have a little bit of prep left to go, but soon, 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 we'll be on our way. Signed your streamly prints. I hope everyone is doing good today. I hope you personally are doing good because life is too short to be wallowing in misery. Right, honey? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we also got some fun new um, cursed milk prints today to sign. I'm really excited about those. I'm very excited about those as well. Those they're are my. Cute. Yes, they're so cute. They're like my new favorites. If you haven't seen these cursed milk prints, um, head on over to the Streamly shop of ours. They're they're so so cute. They're like little Coke and Pepsi milks, right? They got little faces. They got like a little missing Satoru Gojo pick on the side. They're really cute. Um, I don't know if we have a link to the Streamly shop in the Twitch channel itself, but uh, I think it's just Streamly. Was it streamly.com slash KG Tang? Something like that. Uh, something like that. Something oh, like that. I messed up and didn't put two prints in. Oh no. That need to be signed. Uh, apologies, I can't see the chat currently, but oh, I'm sure. Oh my bad. It's okay. <laughs> oh my bad. It's okay, it's okay. So let me turn this light down. It doesn't need to be this yeah, bright. Yeah, it's pretty bright. I'm gonna get warm. I'm a sweat. You're a sweat? I'm a sweat. I'm already an easy sweating guy, I'm sure. Okay, there you go. Now you can see chat. Hey, there we go. Yeah, having a nice weekend. Hope you are too. You purchased the yellow package. Nice. I don't even know what that means yet. <laughs> um, hope you're having an amazing day too. What up, Lindsay? Um, what up, Dalix? <laughs> Small Marine Flute. Right? They're so cute. They're so cute. I think they're like my new favorite prints. They've got so much personality. I'm gonna get you something real quick. Okay. Do you want any water or anything? Sure, that'd be great. You is there any more of that hibiscus tea? Marcy made hibiscus tea. Uh, Jam uh, Jam Jamaica or Jamaica? I don't know how it's pronounced. I know that it's spelled like Jamaica though. Jamaica. 
It's, ja- uh, it's uh, uh, Jamaica, Jamaica Aqua Fresca or Jamaica Aqua Jamaica Fresca. Jamaica Aqua Fresca. I've never heard it said out loud, so I don't know which one it is. <laughs> what up, Foxy Galactic? Good to see all of you guys. I hope I hope life is treating you right. I hope, you know, we've all been doing our best to stay away from the COVID. I hope everyone's healthy. Jamaica. Jamaica. Uh, Ilslay Santi. I told this wrong. <laughs> Let's see you making me crazy with that tea. Hickama? Hamaica? Hickama? It is the bomb. It is, it's delicious. Uh, I, I will say, I just had some today, and it's like, uh, it's, it's, it's great. You're enjoying the last batch of Shaman King episodes? Great! I haven't even, I have not seen the latest batch. I've not seen the latest batch yet, but, uh, I'm gonna get to it. It's on my, it's on my, uh, to-do list. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we just started up, um... I don't know if you guys are watching the Obi-Wan show. We just started that up last night. Marcy fell asleep 15 minutes into it. I was uh, <laughs> No insult to the show. I was just tired. Ewan McGregor also looks really tired. But he's supposed to. He's supposed to be like the broken Here, down old man do Obi-Wan. The you can have oh, my... thanks. Appreciate I can it. make more. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually a really good show. Uh, I, I, I enjoy how, what, what a broken down bum they've made him. <laughs> I guess that's the point of the show. But, uh, like every, every time someone asks him to do something, he's like, but I'm old. It's been 10 years since I was a Jedi. What's a lightsaber? Force? What? I have a desert chicken camel. Um, otherwise it's a great show. I'm really excited to see Hayden Christensen in it because it's kind of like his, like, you know, it's like he's finally getting his redemption arc from the from the trilogy. Um, you binged all of Bungo Stray Dogs in like four days? That's impressive. There's a lot to that show. There's like three seasons and, and a movie. Um, uh, fun fact, you know the composer for Shaman King is Yuki Hayashi of My Hero Academia and Pokemon Journeys? Nice. Ooh. He's, got some, he's got some stuff under his name. Big fan of your performance is Ishiban's fa- favorite voice acting performance ever. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You and McGregor has forever been your celebrity crush since Moulin Rouge. <laughs> he's good. He's a good actor. Um, he he's really he's really like bringing that tired like broken down guy vibe out for this show. So if you haven't watched Obi Wan yet, um, and if you get a chance to check it out, it's really really good. All right, honey. You let me know when we're able to start. Okay, we're getting there. I had to figure something is going on with the store, and it's being a little weird, Hmm. and I just had to figure out why it's being weird. I still don't know, but we're still going to go as planned. Fair enough. We're currently labeling the uh, the prints, so we can do it in order and in quick utilitarian session. Um, Except now I have lost the black sharpie. Oh, no. How you, did I lose the black sharpie? You bought sharpie? all the light novels at Barnes and Noble. Nice. I'm 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 impressed and uh, happy that uh, that they had all of it. What, did you just misplace it? I don't know. I had it <laughs> in my hand. Can you just use another one? Yeah. Can you hand me another black sharpie? Okay. Here you go. No, not that one. Uh, That's a paint pen. Here you go. That's a paint pen. Okay. There are no black sharpies. Yes, there is. Next to the silver. Next, go down, go down, go down to the paint pens. See the silver? Ah. There, there you go. go. Thank you. <laughs> Teamwork. Teamwork. Nice. How have you guys been? How's your how's your weekend so far? How's how's life? Luna Bell, cursed milk. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, um, show them the cursed milk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What Here it is. The, Here's the print. The Here's the print, you guys. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how cute that is. Look at how adorable this is. <laughs> it is filled with personality and savoir faire. <laughs> what is savoir faire? Savoir faire. I, it, it, you know what? To me, it means whatever I needed to meet mean in the moment. How oh, dare you? <laughs> <laughs> it is super cute, you guys. You just got back from guitar practice to see Cursed Milk, so I guess your weekend is going amazing. Heck yeah. It's a good size, too. Yeah, it's small. It's It's small and cursed and cute and lovely. 
So we'll be signing a couple of those today, along with the regular prints. Uh, were you nervous being the voice of the lead in a new gen of Yakuza games? Following Kiryu is tough. It is tough. Um, that, that certainly passed through my mind, uh, 100%. But, you know, uh, you do, you do the acting thing long enough, um, you, you put yourself in a position after, like, you know, 15 years of being able to step into basically any project and just doing it like it's a day of work, you know? That's, that's really the trick. You just treat it like any day of work, you do your best, and then... Hopefully the team working with you and you come together and make a really good product. And I think we did. I think Yakuza came out really good. And I'm very excited to see where the series goes from here. Very proud of you, babe. Oh, thanks, baby. I know the next one they've already talked about. And, uh, you know, Ichi's still in it. So, fingers crossed. You know? I'm, I'm really excited to see what their next money-making minigame in the next game is. It could be anything. Um, I'm, like, rooting for VTubing. <laughs> I'm really rooting for Ichi to become a VTuber and making tons of cash. Or, like, what else could he do in 2022? He could be, like, um... I don't know. He could be, like, a DoorDash guy. Um, he could be, like, uh... Oh, oh just, just anything but, like, a crypto guy. As long as, as long as he's not slinging NFTs, it's fine. Um... <clears throat> oh, thanks. Old Yarma. Nem. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. As if, if, if you do a job long enough, even if, like, a big important thing comes into your lap, as long as it's the same job, um, the, the human brain compensates. Um, maybe a possible minigame would be restaurant management with Zhao. That would be awesome. Oh, my God. Can you imagine the Yakuza 7 crew creating their own <laughs> eatery or restaurant? That would be so cool. Just, of course, Zhao would be, like, in the kitchen because he's, he's the actual, like, you know... Uh, talented cook of the group, but Namba and them trying to run, like, deliveries and, like, Ichi as, like, a waiter. <laughs> or, like, the head of the house, or head of the restaurant, like, taking orders, managing waitstaff. That would be incredible. Uh, we are almost set here. Yep. There's just a <laughs> yep. few more to go. And then we'll be ready to start. <laughs> Ichiban as biking food deliverer. That'd be really fun. There's already a biking mechanic built, built into the game. He's just, like, trying to throw food through people's windows and stuff as quickly as you can to earn a tip. If you break a window, you don't get the tip. Hibiscus. You guys doing anything fun for this weekend? Any plans? Any adventures? Or is it just surviving 2022? <laughs> Imagine with everyone that you voice acted, they all work at a job together. Oof. I don't think that job would last for a full day. We are good to go. Oh, we're good to go? We're good to go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right. All we have to do is pull up the list and yep. start off. Do, 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 do. You got a sports marathon tomorrow? Nice. What sports? Is it the football? Is it the boss ball? The boss. Okay. So... Let's get this started here. Resting. Work is fun and I love how re rewarding your job is. Man, it's exhausting. What do you do? Uh, You probably did, already said that, but uh, remind me what you do for work. Dazai would try to set something on fire as a suicide attempt. Just going to chill the rest of the time? Heck yeah, Warren. That sounds fantastic. I love chilling with my time. Okay. So the first one is a Gojo split uh, from Wiz Yakuza. This is for Anthony. Um, would you do the sign the front and write a special message on the back? Okay. Uh, hmm. Let me write the message. I'm going to sign in the paint pen, but I'm going to write the message in a regular Sharpie just so I don't have smearing issues. What do you think, honey? That's probably smart, right? Yeah. Okay. As for a message, we're going to do, uh, let's start out with my all-time favorite, uh, no, 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 wait. He doesn't want a quote. He wants a message. Right? Mm -hmm. Alright. Hi, Anthony. Gojo can beat Goku. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
It's the message on the back. All right. I think that's a special message. Here we go. The signature on the front. Ooh, what the? Why is that not coming out? Yep. Ah, uh, it's time. Is it yes. dead? No, these are paint pens, my love. Uh, they gotta this be blotted? Happens. You have to murder them rudely. I have to murder them rudely? Yes, this is just what paint pens are. Okay, you go. thank you. They're jerks. You need to beat them up for a little bit. So. Glad your back is feeling better. Me too, me too. If you guys weren't privy, uh, I had a... Ooh, God, you, you murdered it a little too much. Holy crap. Oh, is it just coming it's like, out now? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. A, um, oh... I see what you're talking about. I thought you meant it was com wasn't coming out at all. No, no, no. Now oh. it's like pouring. This one, Anthony, you're gonna get a nice thick signature. Uh, it still it still looks nice, but we're gonna have to let that one cool for an extended period of time. That was okay. Very so hot. when you do it, do it like this. Yeah, yeah, very lightly. Otherwise, very lightly. it's it's pouring out. All right, Anthony. All right, I'm gonna put that in a spot. Yeah, where yeah, yeah. Put that in a spot where it can get uh, get some air on it, get some filtration. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> as opposed to murdered politely. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Ouch. Oh no, you you're sick. Yeah. Brooke Powers, I'm so sorry. I Marcy and I just recovered from a regular cold, which sucked. Um, you know, I I I almost. I know this sounds weird, but like I almost prefer flus over colds, which really you shouldn't. You shouldn't prefer flus over colds, but I don't know why. But like I, I, my body is always taken better to flus. But whenever I get a cold, I turn into like the biggest baby. I turn into the biggest infant. Like everything's like the worst, and like every 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 moment of every waking day is just like suffering and like despair we're in like the flu i somehow brave through it a little better you know like i just have a, a higher spirit um let's see all right next up we got a bill print got a little bill print here bill the tiger from b stars very good romance show filled with animales uh let's see right this let's see to ron right anything that bill would say okay okay well first let's get that signature for you um let's see what would bill say uh they're great about herbivores they're great about herbivores <laughs> listen it, it it seems horrendous but you're talking about a show with these giant you know anthropomorphic animals right and though they may be anthropomorphic they're still like this bill is still a tiger right and even though like eating meat is like what is it like frowned upon because everyone's sentient He's still a tiger. He's still got to eat, like, you know, meat. He's got to eat protein. I don't know how they feed these guys. I know there's that black market they go to, right, to get, like, black market meat. But I don't. I feel like that's not enough, right, for a tiger. A tiger needs to be eating steaks all day. No, I don't need to eat them all day. Tigers, they got to be eating a lot of meat every day. I'm going to change your camera view for just a minute it'll go black for a moment guys everything's okay ah! 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 Stop. 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 you're going to you're going to drown is that what you're doing yeah, maybe. Being a here you go <laughs> here's the build print oh just put it on the other side of the table for now okay okay wait i need to write to ron Yes. To Ron. Okay. There we go. Ron, your bill print is on its way. <laughs> Tigers are obligate carnivores. Hong Kong. <laughs> Alright. Next up, 
We've got a beautiful Dazai print. He's hanging out in his uh, apartment condo. I don't know what he can afford, to be honest. I, have we ever, ever actually seen where Dazai lives? We haven't, right? He's always just sort of... He just sort of shows up at his detective agency from somewhere. Um... What does his house look like? I don't know. <laughs> it's probably dirty. He probably lives in a dirty house. <laughs> Why are you so mean? To look! Live? Look at him! Look at him! He barely changes out his bandages. He's gonna live in a dirty house for sure. That dude doesn't know how to pick up after himself. He's very smart, just not in that way. <laughs> okay, okay. Um. I gave Jesus caught up on Bungo Stray Dogs was wondering if I could get maybe a um look, I'm starting to look like a marshmallow, right? Squish. <laughs> sure. I like that quote. Let's see. Um I'm gonna make sure this doesn't you know, spill out everywhere like the blue. Alright, seems like it's okay. Seems like it's okay. Alright. Look. I'm starting to look like a marshmallow, right? It's a quote from Bungo Stray Dogs 1. To look like a marshmallow, right? <laughs> there you go I don't think they actually wrote a name for that did they honey I can't see if they did um, um let me check uh doing this the other way real quick if there is a name I cannot see oh to oh. Marissa okay I, I think we're gonna just do it like this the other one yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah 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 There we go. To Marissa. To Marissa. All right. There we go. Glad you were both healthy and uninjured. Maybe back to Pokemon Snuzzlock one day. I know. I know. <laughs> we got like we got like devastated with with stuff we had to do in the past few weeks, and it's not really stopping for the next two months. But we, we will do our best. We will do our best. Also, hilariously, this TV behind me, the stuff that we stream the Pokemon stuff on, this entire uh, electrical corner. corner went out on us a couple weeks, or like a week and a half ago, something like that. It's more like three weeks. So this corner of our house has no power. And we are waiting on like a time that we can just be here for a little bit to call the electrician and come in and try and fix it for us. Well, we were sick, so yeah. like... And yeah. before that, we were just being lazy. <laughs> before that, it was laziness. After that, it was a cold. So, you know, you can't call... It, it's 2022, you can't call an electrician in while you have a cold. That's just bad. That's bad That's manners. bad manners. You can't do it. Ain't gonna do it. All right. Marissa, here you go. Your Dazai print. Where would you like me to put this, honey? Uh, would you like me to pass it under the desk for you? <laughs> um, no. I would... Because... Yeah, like that. Here, okay. Let me take that. Okay, okay. Put that underneath. Underneath. Like have that. Yeah. There we go. Thank Perfect. You. Just a random non-electrical corner. <laughs> no, it's not non-electrical. It's like this corner controls like the power for like this kind of quadrant of the condo. So the computer, the TV, the video games, everything yeah. of that matter, it went out. It right now, we're using another like a like extension an extension cord, cord from across the room, so we can use this computer to, to stream the stream. All signing. we can do is use the computer, really. So. All right, all right, all right. Did you just do this one? Uh, I just did the Daz I one. Okay, then you have this one. Yes. As someone who hasn't seen Bungo Stray Dogs, it's an out of context quote. <laughs> yeah. It's from the um, it's from the one show, so it's kind of like like the little chibi version of Bungo Stray Dogs. Uh, it's super super cute. If you want to give it a watch, let's see. All right, um, 
Can't you bragging about his piece of the Bermuda Triangle? <laughs> Your friend surprised you with a Gojo cake? What? That's awesome. I want a Gojo cake. Honey, we should get a Gojo cake. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what what to... would Gojo be doing on this cake? Yeah, I'm probably eating a cake. Half the cake is gone. Half the cake. <laughs> just He's just eating mark. it. To Reina. And no special instructions. We'll just give you the signature here for the smiley face. Enjoy your Wiz Yakuza Gojo print. It's very beautiful. You can see his gorgeous, gorgeous eye. <laughs> All right, there we go. Do, 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 do. All right, make sure it's not. Put it up here a little bit. Make sure it's not like smudging the other stuff. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. You're kicking yourself because you didn't realize I was coming to Colossal Con, which is near you? Oh, man! Can you not drop by for one day? I don't know if they have, like, a day pass or what have you. But, yeah, I'm going to be at Colossal Con next week. It's going to be fun. Um, with COVID numbers, I'm not sure if I can go to the Jacuzzi Bar. I don't know if that's really safe for us to do, which is sad because that's, like, the... That's one of the best parts of Colossal Con. Um, if you go to any of them, really. But the one in Ohio... I know for a fact, is connected to a, not outdoor, but indoor water park, which is so cool. They have, like, little rides and, like, a little uh, a, a little r lazy river you can ride in. They have a wave pool. And <clears throat> usually, if you're of age, there is a jacuzzi bar area, in which case you can hang out in a jacuzzi, enjoy a drink, and it's, it's, it's wild. It's fantastic. Yes, it's called the Kalahari. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah, the Kalahari. Yes, 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 yes. Kalahari. You really want to go to Avox, but it's kind of far away from where you are? I totally get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like, you know, I forget exactly where it is, but it's, it's, it is around this area. So I don't have to fly, but other people do. <laughs> you know that one day you can meet me in the UK? I would love to come to a con at the UK. They gotta invite me. Hey, thank you for the sub. Shattered Dice 08. <laughs> I would love to meet you, Kara. Yeah, the Jacuzzi Bar is the best Melanite art. So good. I mean, if you live near Kalahari, maybe it's not just worth it to take a day trip and go to, like, the indoor, you know, the water park. It's in Pasadena, the A-Box. Correct. All right. Um, so the next one is for Shane. Uh... I love Gojo so much. He's my favorite character ever. Could you please write a sweet message to your biggest fan in his style? Okay, sure. Uh, to Shane. Make sure you get that spelling right. I'm not the best speller in the world. Let's see. Uh, grab life by the curse be greedier <laughs> with the heart <laughs> there you go Shane Grab life by the curse. Be greedier. Satoru Gojo. Satoru. Are you sure that's Shane and not Cheyenne? Um, it could be Cheyenne. Either way, it's spelled that way. So. <laughs> to Shane and or Cheyenne, I apologize if I've mispronounced your name. Grab life by the curse. Be greedier. <laughs> Don't mock me, Marcy. I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm like, I've I'm just, never seen Shane spelled that way, but that doesn't I'm just doing happen. my best, and my wife is just mocking me. <laughs> just saying mean, discouraging words. What? <laughs> I would love to see your 08 impression. Um, Foxy Galactic, what state do you live in that there has not been a convention? Hopefully, hopefully that can be solved soon. Oh, I'm all better, Kara. Yeah, she's... Are you all better, baby? Yep. Okay, good, good, good. 
cold got us both, man. Got yeah. you for a while, and then it hit me after a few days. <laughs> if you don't mind me just grabbing my hand and shouting, my aching blood! Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, anyone, anyone who screams my aching blood at any given point near me will get one of these, like... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I'm doing, if I hear my ah my aching blood, I'll turn around and be like. <laughs> do just you know, do the sword hand back and forth, like we understand each other, like <laughs> I'm alright too, I'm alright too. It's just the you know, like I said, whenever I come down with a cold, I'm just a massive child about it. I just oh I whine, I complain. I make it sound like it's the end of the world when it's really not. It's just, there's just, you know, it's, it's the, when you have the flu, you don't necessarily get like the sinus stuff, right? You just get the fever, you're sick for a couple days, and then you're, you know, you get over it. But when you get a cold, everything here is just like, oh, you feel like you're just dripping from all your orifices. You can it's, get that with a flu too. Yeah. I, yeah, you absolutely can. I've never really gotten that with a the flu. There are certain viral infections you definitely can get that with, too, um, that are, that other than a cold. But yeah, for you, normally it doesn't go that route. Yeah. <laughs> the kindred spirits stare down. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, all right, let's see here. We got another Dazai Prince. Chill Dazai to Leanne. Could you please draw a heart on it and maybe add some encouraging words? Sure. Let's try orange. Let's try orange. Let's see if that shows up nice. Gonna make sure that it's working. All right. Uh, two. That shows up pretty good. Me and. Okay. Draw a heart. I'm gonna draw a couple hearts for you, Leanne. A heart here, a heart here, and then an encur some encouraging words, some Dazai encouraging words. Um, let's make it through life together. That's what Dazai needs. Someone to make it through life together with. All right. There you go, Leanne. Got some hearts on there for you. Got a quote or got some encouraging words. Let's make it through life together. And the signature. Hope you enjoy your comfy Dazai print. He's having a great time. I, I work every day so I can have this vibe. <laughs> <laughs> really, this is, this is the future I want, and I'm not ashamed to say it. I just, I want to be on, like, some acreage. I want to be on, like, a like a farm property. I want, like, a dog next to me, right? I want that porch swing really bad. Um, Kara, I would love to give you an autograph in person one day. That'd be really cool. Uh, I, I, I put up a couple, a few of the cons I'm going to in the next couple months, and there'll be, there'll be more cons before the year is done. Uh, but hopefully I can catch you at, at least one of them. All right, that's that's it for Odaja here. Let's put him here so he's not smudging stuff. Um, meh, 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 meh. Okay, okay. <laughs> I have a system. It's working. It's working. All right. Next up, we got another Gojo, but it's one I drew. It is a tiny Gojo. It's a small Gojo. Nothing is sacred. Only me. <laughs> uh, let's get this signed here for with eh, eh, eh. Eat you for the ah! Okay. I'm not breaking anything. I'm not destroying anything in my own home. I promise, honey. I, I promise. Alright, this is for Stephanie. Two Stephanie. Smiley face. No special instructions, so. Oh, I should probably sign it, too. 
that that's probably important, right? It might be. Maybe. Okay. Done. Nothing sacred, only me. There's your little guy. There's the does. Da, da, da. I, mean, I almost called him Daz. I same guy. <laughs> Here's Gojo. <laughs> no, not same guy. Not same guy. Some market differences. <laughs> Some. Some market differences. You know. Different coat of paint. Slightly different character design. Still got bandages, depending on what season you're watching. It makes me think, like, what other kind of, like, bandages Gojo went through before he settled on, like, the black one. Because obviously when Yuta was still around, he was experimenting still, right? Like, he's like, I could go for the Kakashi mummy look. No, no, Kakashi never used white bandages, did he? Yeah. He had the black mask on yeah, the whole at time. at some point right? I thought he put white bandages. Did he have no, white bandages that's, on? that's Gojo. That's Gojo. Yeah, 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 Gojo, Gojo went with the mummy look at first, and then, I don't know, I guess that became too difficult to unwrap and rewrap over and over again. Probably. So now he just uses the, the black rag that I don't know if he washes. <laughs> Melanite, I don't know, I've never seen Dazai or Gojo in the same room. You're right. You're right. No. <gasps> oh! You bought a ticket for next Saturday. Oh, I can't wait to see you. It's gonna be great. Yeah, mention when you when you when you um when you see me, just mention that uh, you you bought the ticket for the day. So I remember I remember this conversation. Uh, Kakashi always had the blue black over his mouth, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So Kakashi, you know, I think even as a young kid, he had a similar covering. So he Kakashi knew what his look was from a young age. Gojo had to spend some time to figure that out, even as an adult. You know, if you're ever feeling down about life, just remember that Gojo had to spend years and years and years trying to find his look. <laughs> trying to find that drip, as it were. I feel so old saying that word. I feel like... An been around long enough. I feel like an imposter. I feel like an imposter when I say drip. Maybe you do, but I Because, you know, I'm just... I, uh, usually I just say fashion, right? It's like his fashion, his look... His apparel, his, his ambiance, his je ne sais quoi. His je ne sais quoi. <laughs> yeah. Captain Poodle Hats, I hope you're having a great day too, man. Oh man, I'm sorry you're dealing with some mental health stuff, but I hope your, I hope your, I hope your day goes better. I hope you treat yourself to some nice food. You know, I hope you do some stuff that you enjoy today for your mental health. Play Sims and cheat. <laughs> That's what I do. When I need when I need two seconds, I play Sims and I cheat the hell out of that game. I'm just like, mother load, give myself two million dollars, buy the house of my dreams, have a perfect art career, paint a masterpiece, sell it, write a best-selling book. None of my moods go down. That'd be amazing. There was a convention in your state called, or there is a convention in your state called. Uki Sorakon. Ooh. Nice. Oh, Kara. Makes me feel good. Thanks. You're my idol. The color of the headband over his eye did change from the light blue to the dark blue, but I think that's because his ninja rank changed. Wasn't a style choice. Okay. So it could be like a uniform thing that he Thank has to go. adhere to. Um, Gojo obviously doesn't really pay attention to the uniform aspect of... I think, I think those are just as clothes, to be honest. I, yeah. <laughs> Did you I just Keanu Reeves me? Do you, do, you, do you think, could you imagine them walking up telling him he had to wear a certain something? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first time the principal's like, you know, Gojo, there's a dress code. He's like, what, is, what does that mean? What do I care? <laughs> what does dress code, what, what are those words in that order mean? All right. All right. Speaking of breathtaking, speaking of breathtaking, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Bam, we're signing the Coke milk. We're signing the Coke Milk. <laughs> Alright. Coke Milk. This is exciting. This is the first time we've signed it. Um, let's see. This is our first Coke Milk set? Our first Coke Milk. What, or honey. Cursed Milk. Cursed Milk. Cursed Milk. That's right. We can't get away with saying Coke Milk. We don't want to be su sued. So, Cursed Milk. It is. it is. Do you think blue or red would show up better on this? Or go I, better I, on this? I, 
you know, either or, honestly. I think the red will be brighter. You think the red will be brighter? Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's give this a shot then. Boop, boop, boop. Make sure the red is working. Okay, okay, okay. This is for King Loser. <laughs> I love your work. Would you mind drawing something random or writing down your favorite joke? Okay. I could draw something random. Sure. First, let's sign this. There we go. In the corner there. And then I'm going to draw maybe a Kataru Gojo. As is my way. Little, little Kataru. Little fluffy face. Here we go. Oh no, the, the, the bandage didn't cover his whole eye. <laughs> it's okay, I'm fixing it. I'm, fix I'm coloring it in. I'm coloring it in. That way no one will know that I messed up. We know. No, we know you, you didn't know. You, you don't know. It, you said it out loud. You don't know. You verbalized mm -mm. it. Yeah, you made it mm -mm. real. You made it real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you keep saying that. I just don't know what you're talking about. Okay, little fuzzy feet at the bottom. And then we got a little tail. <laughs> he's a he's a little Kataru Gojo you know, for you. Because he has the bandage over his eyes, it, it makes me feel like you've drawn a raccoon. <laughs> Hold on. Kataru. Hi, King Loser. It's like he's saying it. He's saying, hi, King Loser. There you go, King Loser. Not that you are the King of Losers, simply because your handle is King Loser. There's a little Kachiru Gojo for you. <laughs> Sly Cooper, Jujutsu Kaisen, crossover. Uh, it's like Luffy says, orange is good juice. I need orange juice. I've been binging spinach because Popeye. I used to binge spinach because of Popeye. Now I binge um, collard greens. It's like, it's like the one vegetable I eat on mass oh constantly. Oh my god! Don't lie. What vegetable do I eat on mass like collard greens? Pickles. Oh, you're right. You're right. To not uh, you're right. Pickles. You're right. Takana pickles is your favorite. I eat a lot of takana pickles. I, a bowl of white rice, uh, scrambled eggs, and pickled vegetables. That's like my second favorite thing to eat in the whole world, for some reason. If you weren't allergic to milk, you'd definitely try Coke milk. Oh man, sorry you're allergic to milk. I'm technically lactose intolerant. I'm not supposed to be drinking any of that stuff, but uh But man do you. But man do I you don't help. <laughs> you don't help at all. His favorite thing is uh strawberry milk and yeah. stuff. And I was like, yo, just don't drink this all at once. <laughs> And then he proceeded not to listen to me, so Spy I lactose feel free. bad. <laughs> yeah, but like you know, I'm lactose intolerant. And you're just like, mmm, strawberry milk. Guess I'll make you my. You were so excited. I when was I excited. Came home. I was excited. It was delicious, <laughs> and I drank all of it. Unfortunately. You weren't supposed. To. And then, and then, and then at two in the morning, I don't know if you remember, but there no, was I do. there was an incident. <laughs> I thought you were gonna die. I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> you ever have those moments where you think you're gonna die on the toilet? I sure have. <laughs> you guys have to understand, it's not simply a glass of milk. It was a huge. It was really jug. big. It it's was a really big. big. Is it still really there? Know. Is it? Can I show them the size of it? No, I think we. Oh, it we threw it away. It was like it was huge. It was. Show them with your hands. Yeah, it was like oh. Put your hand up higher. They can't see where it ends. Where it starts. Yeah, it was like this, this big. I drank it over the course of the evening, to be fair, but I still drank all of it. And then I gave you a cream sandwich. You did. You a gave slice, me a, a slice. You did. You gave me a sandwich made entirely of cream and, and fruit. Cream and fruit. Japanese cream. Which is sandwiches. so good. Is actually, can we show that on stream? Can we show oh, one of them? You know what? I do have one slice left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We can't. I was like, oh, oh, I can't oh, wait I to show you guys the sandwich. Like, I've never encountered a sandwich like this. We saw it on a, a YouTube video, and we were so enamored with it. I, I, Marcy went out and just 
did it. She she put it together, and it's as fantastic as it looks on on film. And I can't wait to show it to you. It's um, all wrapped up though, and I don't want to unwrap it until I eat it. But right, right. so here is the, here is here is the sandwich, right? It's got bread. It's got two f- kiwis. Two kiwis or three with kiwis, but two different types. Of kiwis. And the entire th- rest of it is just cream. Cream. So. Number one, this is an amazing sandwich. This is delicious. And if you put it together, uh, if you put it together and try one, I guarantee you're going to love it. It is just one of the greatest things I've ever put in my mouth. Unfortunately for me, being lactose intolerant, 75% of the ingredients in this sandwich is cream. (laughs) All right? So just be careful when you put this thing together. Um, if you have a dairy uh, intolerance like I do. I should have been smart about it, but like you, I forget. I also forget you have a lactose intolerance. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. you eat milk all the I time. I do, I do. It's hard to remember. So I... I forget. And then I do something dumb, like hand you a huge thing of strawberry milk with a side of a cream <laughs> sandwich. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah, yeah. But I also forget. Cara, so you know my pain. You know exactly what I went through last night. I woke up at 2 in the morning with that very similar stomach pain. You you sit there, you get like dizzy, and you're like, oh no, is this it? Do I die? Am I, am I going like Elvis? Is is this the night that my wife finds me dead on the toilet? <laughs> no! Because of some cream. <laughs> because, of, because of a strawberry milk. That looks like something you eat as a dare. Oh, it's freaking delicious. Uh, and since I made the whipped cream myself, I put less sugar in it. It's true. It was really good. It's a really more, good sandwich. To, to be less of a dessert. It's a really, really good like sandwich. Midday sandwich. Do you ever autograph mail-in items? Um, I don't think I can, I can do that, actually. I don't think I can safely do that, unfortunately. I apologize. Um, if, you, if you want a signed item, it does either have to be through Streamly or you have to meet me at a con. Come to a con I'm going to. I'm going to a, a lot this year. Um, oh, but they're going to... They're in Alaska. Oh. do Alaska has cons, right? I think Alaska, Alaska has a couple of cons. <laughs> if you request me at your local con, I can meet you in person, and that is the easiest way. Just so you guys know, if you ever want KG or me... To in be your at, town. At, to be at a con, you have to ask the con. We can't do that. Unfortunately. I, I can't... Mean, we could, but it, it, it feels weird. Yeah, you should bring us to your con. No, we rather. <laughs> hey, will you give me money to come to your con? So some cons don't like that, which is yeah. completely understandable. They want to hear from you guys. Because um, if I do it, they're just gonna be like, "Who is this actor just trying to get into our convention?" Lame. They'll call me lame. You've been requesting London to have me. Oh, that'd be awesome. Oh, I would love cool. to come. Um, I, I would go to Expo, but unfortunately, I am all, I'm contractually obligated to be at AVOX, so uh, that's running around the same time, so I will be at AVOX instead. So if you want to see one of those, that time, yes, you would go please to come to AVOX. One of those places is paying me to be there. I'm not going to turn down that paycheck. Um, all right. Uh, I saw a thing that said my toxic trait is, hmm, let me see if this food that normally hurts my stomach hurts my stomach today. Ah, it's so true. Yeah, that's I, you. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I don't remember. Or maybe I do I remember and I don't care in the moment, you know? I like, don't... KG, I'm like... I would like to believe I could remember too, but I don't either. Right. I don't know what it is. Well, it's it's because, very hard. You know what? No, no, no. I know what it is. I know what it is. It's because you normally eat such small amounts of milk that normally it isn't a problem. Right. But then, like, you know... But you, then you get cocky. I <laughs> get cocky. Well, you'll want to, like, go out for ice cream, and I don't want to be left out sometimes, so... No, what the, what the heck are you talking about? Well, no, I mean... Just a soda! No, that's not true. Well, usually, I'll get a milkshake, you know? You'll go to Ben & Jerry's, you'll get some delicious-looking ice cream, and my brain will be like, Aw, oh, man, I want something. Why well, can't have ice cream, so I guess I'll get a milkshake. Like, what my brain heck? just misfires. It's just like, obviously, milkshakes are okay. Just because milk's part of the name doesn't mean I'm going to get sick. Let's get a large milkshake with some whipped cream on top. Uh, uh, one day you'll remember. One day. 
Lady uh, Shinzo, thank you so much. I will try to keep up the amazing job. If it is amazing. <laughs> um, all right. Next up, we've got an Owain, Mr. Sword Hand himself. Uh, this is also for King Loser. So, two King Loser. Uh, he would also like a random drawing or my favorite joke. What is my favorite joke? Favorite joke? <sighs> my favorite joke isn't PG. Well, don't say it. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, this is a this is a what is it? This is a uh, uh, mature stream. We 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 have that mm, at the beginning. No, not for signings. Not for signings. Not for this. Not since it's since it's not a mature show. Cause like gotcha. Shaman King's not a mature show. I mean. Is it? I mean. What is it rated? Shaman King. Uh, these Why kids seven, end. Probably these right? these kids end up in like hell and stuff. So that and people like, ended up in hell in Dragon Ball Z. Too. And this little girl is always talking about how she's gonna get married to the main kid. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. yeah we won't. We'll, I, I, I won't put that joke on here. Um, let's see. My favorite PG joke, though. Um, maybe I'm not funny. I don't have a favorite PG joke. Yeah, it's PG. <sighs> Out of all the people in my friend group, it was the two who were lactose intolerant that were by far the biggest ice cream eaters. Yeah, passes mustard. All you have to do is take the lactate or whatever the medicine is no. called. No! <laughs> Why are you such a baby? <laughs> I literally do not know any other person willing to put up with the pain of eating food they get sick from eating than lactose intolerant people. It's, always it's lactose true. Lactose intolerant people. It's true. Every time. They're like, yeah, we know we're going to be in pain, but screw it. I'm like, you have a medicine you could eat while you eat it to stop that from happening. I literally but have But we just don't. And you but just we don't. don't. We just eat the dairy. Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh no, you did have to fly home while suffering from food poisoning oh, in December? I'm that so sorry, sucks. that sucks. Still one of the comfiest flights you've been on. Good, 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 good. Still, that sucks. <laughs> Cat, <Cat's here. laughs> stop drinking milk. That's my sister, you guys. Hello, Cat. I can't. I can't stop drinking milk. <laughs> I'm physically unable to... It's too delicious. <laughs> Dairy products are too delicious. I've lost. I can't just... I can't just stop eating cheese. I can't... What? I well, Katie. To be fair, you didn't like cheese until you until I married you. <laughs> I wasn't a cheese eater. My stomach was fine, and then I married Marcy, and then I was like, "Ooh, cheese! <laughs> it's great." <laughs> oh, thank you, Orin. You can't stop us, <laughs> Katie. What the fuck? Man? I'm sorry, you guys. You you try stop eating dairy. It's 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 amazing. He doesn't like rice milk. Well, no, you do. Rice but milk you is really okay. Like soy milk. You like soy milk. It's 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 yeah. BB Cat, bento box. I, thank you. I feel seen and heard. It's not the same. It doesn't taste the same. It isn't. But cat, I make him homemade soy milk, and no, really, he'll drink that. Because <laughs> I'll also make tofu now too. Yes. I like it homemade. It tastes. It has a different texture to it, even when you do it soaking and stuff. You can really control how silken or how tough you want it and I really like that I drew a coke milk on Owain I hope you enjoy well okay so I mean here's the thing here's the thing um I could stop drinking dairy right mm -hmm. but I feel like life is so short <laughs> Uh, I see the excuse that's coming in. Life is so short. Yeah. Um, if I can't spend this time enjoying the things I really, really enjoy, like ice cream, like cakes, what is the point? I know, baby. It's hard. It's hard. But you know what you could do to make it less hard on yourself. No, I don't know what Take I the do. medicine! I don't, know, I don't know what you're talking about. Take the medicine! What? Take it, take it before I, you well, eat. what? Or take it during, even. I think you're supposed to take it during. You're supposed to take it during? Yeah, the moment you have your first thing. Yeah, because when you did the Coke milk thing with Caitlin. 
Did I take it then? You finally took it then. I finally got you to take it then. Was I was I devastated afterwards that it worked? No, okay. It worked. Okay. And so I don't know why you don't take it because it works, and then you don't have to almost die on the toilet. You can still have hard cheeses like Parmesan. There's no excuse. You can't stop me, sister. You're not here all the time. <laughs> you can't prevent me from eating gooey cheese. I'm not gonna put Parmesan on pizza. Well, I mean, I might. I Parmesan know. on pizza. Parmesan pizza. Good. That sounds pretty good. But I'm also gonna have that mozzarella. <laughs> Life is short. Why not make it shorter by drinking something that hurts me? <laughs> You're like, I could stop Two. drinking milk whenever I want. Yeah, that's right. I, I could do it tomorrow, but I'm not gonna. But it's I not a problem. I don't have an issue. <laughs> to a Manuela. Fiji. Thank you so much for the Gojo print pickup. It's coming to you. The little dude's coming to you. All right. Next up, we've got a Gonta. A good boy Gonta print. He's hair. He he's, he's a good boy. He's he's checking out the the insects. Ultimate gentleman. All right. Let's get this in orange. This is for Moon J G. All right. To Moon, I like that name. J G. There you go, Moon J G. Nice going to print for you on its way to your doorstep or your mailbox, wherever you pick up your your postage. Are you buying the Baldur's Gate set? Is there what Baldur's Gate set? Is there a Baldur's Gate like magic set coming out? If you don't go against your siblings advice, are you really siblings? <laughs> That's true. That's true. All right. This is for Katie Heart Heart. I'm guessing that's part of her name. Thank you for being such a riot. You can have fun with this if you want. Magic the Gathering. I didn't know they were coming out with a Baldur's Gate set. I'm so behind. I'm really really behind on all my magic stuff. I barely was able to get any of the cyberpunk mecha Japanese set that I really wanted. Life. Living in Los Angeles, it's rough. June. Yes. Alright, this is for Katie. Let's get this to Katie. Um, let's see, how do we have fun with this? How do we have fun with a Gojo signature. Draw Gojo. We you haven't drawn Gojo. Gojo today yet. I drew a Kataru Gojo. I drew Kataru, but you didn't draw your okay. famous Gojo. Okay, okay, let's draw. Your famous Gojo. Let's draw my famous Gojo. With his little spiky hair. He's got some ears. He's got a fat Sorry, face. Sorry, CP. He's got a little square block body. He's got little, he's got little block feet. I love your chibis. <laughs> he's got a little peace sign. There we go. All right, Katie. Drew you a tiny gojo. At the bottom, he's giving you a peace sign. Look at him. Look at him. He's either doing the peace <laughs> sign or he's doing. Uh, or he's in, holding scissors. Or he's holding scissors <laughs> or he's doing infinite void. He's doing one of those things. Sorry about that, ZP. But I'm sure I got your friend signing in the books. All right, Katie. That is yours. Next up, we have another Gojo. No no name to make it out to, but a request to put a quote from the character on there. Do, 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 do. Lindsay? I think Lindsay's in here. Lindsay was in here. She was in here, certainly. Quote from the character. Um, I'm the strong kissed. I thought you said strong kissed. I did. Um, <laughs> the strongest. What? 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 Don't put a fake quote. It's not fake. 
Strongest. Strongest. KG. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Oh yeah, thank you so much, ZB2. Appreciate it. Promise we will be getting back to streams as soon as our electricity is restored in this area of our house. All right. <sighs> there you go, mystery purchaser. Your go, Joe. Next up, we got another Wiz Yakuza Prince. Ugh. This one is for Leo Ramirez. Uh, please add this quote, I alone am the honored one. Yeah, your favorite. Is that my favorite? You love that one. I, I do am alone. The... I like Formation B a little more. <laughs> oh, I guess so. But like, serious quote. Lindsay shouting from the voice. She's probably out saving lives or something. Yeah. 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 Something useful. Lindsay, Lindsay are, uh, is, is a very good uh, friend and fan. She uh, is a nurse. She's a working nurse. So she's out on the front lines every day saving lives, um, doing way Being important work. Being a badass. Casual day superhero. A absolutely. If you see Lindsay around, give her a shout out. She's fantastic. All right. Two. Leo. Run. Mirez. What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? I'll show you. This is the most Texas thing ever. But also not Texas at the same time. But it's hilarious. <laughs> what the heck? Someone has taken... I forgot what these boards are called, but it's um, the electrical uh, skateboards with one wheel. I forgot what they're called. And he has attached a rocking horse to it. And he's driving down it, pretending to ride the rocking horse. That is very Texas. On this electrical scooter. He's got a cowboy hat too, right? Oh, yes, he does. He does. Or not scooter, but uh, uh, skateboard. Kind of, I don't know what this is called. It's called like the Omni something. I don't remember. But it's hysterical. Because he's taking it very seriously. <laughs> He he's nods going his at a, hat and everything. He's going at a good pace, too. <laughs> E-boards? Is it called E-boards? Might be an E-board. But oh. he's, he's, he's pimped it out. But that's my joy. For sure. I like that a lot. He has, in fact, pimped it out. All right, this one is for Taya. This is going to be the Split Gojo one. He's got the little inverse kind of like, you know, infinite void thing happening there on one side. All right, to Taya. I think it's Taya. Hello. Hello, Super Fox. Welcome, welcome. Just signing some Streamly prints here. Okay, Taya, here's your Wiz Yakuza print. I hope you enjoy. The paint marker will be on there forever, which is good. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. I've got an itchy nose today. Scratch, scratch. Maybe allergies. Maybe. All right, this one's for Bethany. This is my hand-drawn, handcrafted, no longer human Dazai print. Look at him. Look at how smug he is. He's using his little powers. You can tell from the blue laser beams coming off his hands. We're all doing good. And yes, KG is Guts from Berserk. Yes. Which one? I was Guts in the previous two... CG animated berserks. Uh, to Beth Any. Gonna sign on his little coattails here. There you go, Bethany. A little Dazai for you. Yes, I know. Art. Art. The first role I ever saw you as was the Detective Pikachu. Awesome! The DS, the 3DS game that's supposedly coming out with a sequel at some point in the future. Who knows? I would love to revisit that universe. All right. And we got a Gojo from Marcy. A Mars Gojo. A Mars Joe. A Hellscream Von Satoru. This is for Maddie. Two. Maddie, sign on his silly head. 
Thank you so much, Maddie, for picking up the Hellscream Von Gojo. It's coming, coming your way. All right. Next up. Urgh. My husband really liked to sign guts. My love for you is like a truck. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him he's welcome. We've got another little Dazai here for Sarah. Uh, uh, no uh, directions for you, but my younger brother did want to make a request for a hand-drawn Yasuhiro Hagakure print to be on the shop one day. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I will try to draw a hand-drawn Hagakure print. He is uh, from Danganronpa. He's got the big, big hair. I, I actually voice a lot of characters with big hair. You do. Really you big, big hair. big hair energy, I guess. I do have big hair energy. Biggest role I've been in? Um, I guess that... I guess Gojo would be the biggest like anime thing. Video game-wise, probably Ichiban Kasuga from Yakuza. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Movies-wise, uh, I was 88% of Tom... In the new Tom and Jerry movie, um, I think that's that's probably the biggest like live like big summer blockbuster thing I was done. I was doing eighty eight percent of Tom. <laughs> they included two Wilhelm screams that were not me. Oh, Lindsay, welcome, Lindsay. Casual superhero Lindsay saving lives. <laughs> What's up, Lindsay? Hope you're doing good. I'm glad we summoned you. All right. This is for Sarah. To Sarah. Woo. Signing on his coat and or rug that he's standing on. That is definitely his coat. It could be a rug. You made it his coat. I drew this. I could say it's a rug. <laughs> <laughs> I remember your explanation first time. <laughs> Well, I just I wanted it billowing in the wind. So he's jumping. He's jumping. Yeah, uh, he's... yeah, that's exactly yeah. what's happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this one is for Charlotte. To Charlotte. I feel like if your name is Charlotte, you can conceivably make people call you, call you Charlotte. And it would be okay. No one could say anything. Because that's the way it's spelled. Or Charlotte. Ooh, Charlotte. Charlotte is pretty cool. If you worked at a Starbucks and your name was Charlotte, you would totally go by Charlotte. Okay. Okay. Okay, Marcy. Uh -huh. One day, I'm going to get a job at a Starbucks. Yeah. I'm going to tell them my name is Charlotte. And then I'm going to spend at least one day making customers call me Charlotte. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Too. Okay. All right. Charlotte adventure in the books. We do love nurses in here. <laughs> it's actually pronounced Charlotte. I do play video games. <laughs> it's true. I am. I am already a drink. I don't know if you guys saw, but like um. This place in NorCal, Just Tease, put me up as a as a flavor of one of the bobas. I think I'm like Tiger Milk because of, obviously, Bill from Beastars. I'm a Tiger Milk Tea boba flavor. So if you go to NorCal, if you go to Just Tease, you will see me on their menu. So, you know, I've made it. <laughs> like oh Lindsay gosh, said. We still haven't gone down to get it. <gasps> You're right. You're right. We have to go all the way to NorCal, though. That's fine. <laughs> Adventure. Adventure. Is this before or after you voice a Roomba? You guys, I haven't had any offers for the Roomba job. I'm trying to manifest a Roomba job. Um, I think it would be the greatest adventure of a lifetime to hear my voice coming out of a Roomba as it sucks up dirt all around the condo. You know what I mean? Just, you just hear me go... Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> And then, like, as it passes by you casually, just be like, really, dude? Spilling food here? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, bro, you live like this? <laughs> as it passes by you. It's just a moody Roomba. Right? Every time it hits a corner, you just hear, ah, shit. <laughs> I just 
this really under its breath? Damn it. Jeez. <laughs> With occasional loud screams of agony when you bump into something. Yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> this is the last one. Oh, yep, that's right. This one of our new cursed milk prints. We can go with red again. Sign your favorite Gojo quote. Let's see. Should we do Formation B or should we do something else? Hmm. You have a convention. You smacked your Roomba once? <gasps> there, your Roomba's going to remember that when the, when the, the robot apocalypse comes. Look, she, okay? she already showed that she was shamed, ashamed. I don't know, man. I don't know. If there's another sub-story in uh, Like a Dragon 2 with a Roomba and you voice it, does that count? I don't know. I really want the real Roomba, you know? I've been trying to manifest it online. Um, Venom Hollow, have you read Chainsaw Man? I've read a little bit of it. Yeah, it's really good. Also, I do play I, I play a bunch of video games to answer your last question. We, Marcy and I play a lot of fighting games. Um, I'm an M. Bison man. She's, she's an M. Bison an M. Bison man. You're also an M. Bison man. I play a lot of strategy games. I'm like a big Civ Six, StarCraft kind of person. I love those games. I'm a little too old to play them well. Age of Empires, you know. But I still love playing them. That is a young person's man, game. Man, how dare you put age to that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, you, you haven't played learn? StarCraft. You haven't like, played you StarCraft. Can learn again? You learn there's only so much you can make up for in, like, APM deficit, all right? A young person can go at a keyboard and mouse like, I don't have that in my hands anymore, all right? I just, I just don't. If I think you, that's just an excuse for that for it. <laughs> <you have laughs> I to, think you can get back to it. You have to do a secret C, uh, Easter egg voice line for whenever the Roomba accidentally drags dog poop all over the house. <laughs> this is this is more on you than it is on me. All right, let's see. Uh, still, we need to come up with a favorite Gojo quote. Favorite Gojo quote. Favorite Gojo you quote. Got Formation B. You've got Formation I, B. I alone am the honored one. Um, Formation B. Look, oh, you haven't signed Formation B today. Yeah, fair enough. Formation. Dot dot dot. B. Oh my god. Smiley face. I did buy a copy of Street Fighter Five and a fighting pad because of you two. Um, I'm just in the middle of shotgunning the Yakuza series right now. Oh, wow. Nice. Well, I hope you're enjoying uh, Street Fighter. Yeah, or I hope you I hope you enjoy and Street Fighter. Yakuza, it's, obviously, too. <laughs> it's when you when you first pick up a fighting game, it's always really like frustrating to like learn all the basics and stuff. But once you do learn the basics and you see how you can start applying them to matches, it's so much fun. And then, like, every time... Oh, we got one more order. And then every time you uh, you play against someone, you get to, like, sort of learn about their psychology. You sort of learn what makes them tick, you know? Um, if only you said it that way in the show. Formation burn! We will. Maybe season two. Maybe season two, you know? Maybe in season two, when they're going through, like, Gojo's, like, backstory, you can hear him just shout, like, Formation A in the background as he's going through the first iteration <laughs> of what that is. <laughs> Gojo suddenly sounds like an old man. Formation B! No, that doesn't sound old. That sounds like someone going through some problems. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay, Lindsay, thank you for picking up another print. Lindsay said, you thought that was your last print, but it's me, Dio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and thank you for subscribing. Yeah, S. Subscribe Saiba. Up. It's been so long. I just wanted to say that you really inspired me. I have your Gojo autograph on my desk. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you so much for saying that. That means a lot. All right, Lindsay. I'm going to sign you a cursed milk. Two... I'm gonna put hearts around Lindsay. Lindsay. I tried to put a heart. This looks like a butt. I'm sorry. Um, actually, it kind of looks like a tooth. <laughs> one of them sort of looks like a heart at the end. The first one looks like a tooth or a butt. I'm really sorry. Um, I'm gonna try to fix it. Hold on. Now that it looks more like a butt. Okay. <laughs> 
Just so you know, a molar. Just so you know, that was supposed to be a heart. So you know, like, okay, let me show it to you. Okay. So that that first heart by your name, that's a heart. All right. So it. I know it comes off butt and or molar ish, and I know the 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 heart after your name kind of looks like a sliver of a something but they're both hearts it's the uh it's the thought that counts <laughs> hold on <laughs> hold on just so i also love the cursed milk it's so good um i'm gonna ride the bottom here that is a heart <laughs> not a butt or tooth. <laughs> Thank you for the new sub, Luna Bell. Thank you so much, Luna Bell. Really appreciate it. All right, Lindsay, here's your new print. To Lindsay, that is a heart, not a butt or tooth. Angry face. <laughs> You do need to get a wisdom tooth out? Oh, oh man, good luck. Good luck. That is a that is a procedure. I I don't even remember. Um I don't think I actually got my wisdom tooth ever pulled you out. Even, you may have, your teeth may have come in just fine. Yeah, I th I I I somehow I somehow was able to skip that process um to get my wisdom teeth out, but I've heard from all my friends who have had that happen uh that it is just it's hilarious. It's a, it's a hilariously awful experience. Um, hilarious because they put you under and they give you some good stuff and you come out laughing like an idiot. <laughs> you were graced by the tooth fairy and don't have wisdom teeth? No way. No way. Maybe you just got them out before you even remember getting them out. It's possible you guys either... Ha well, it's also possible you guys have mouths big enough that... They come in properly. Maybe because what happened is some of uh, some of us evolved to have smaller mouths, and that's and then there was crowding, and that's what happened with the. Uh, yeah, I think everyone is born with wisdom teeth, they, right? Nearly everyone, nearly. Some people aren't. Really, it does happen. But it, are some people born without wisdom teeth? It's it's rare though. I feel well, that's crazy. I didn't know. The dentist was also confused. <laughs> Google that. Okay, I'm googling it. Google. Hold on, hold on. I want to know. Is that really? I think it does happen. Uh, can you? Can you? Be are you born, born without with wisdom out? teeth? Because, like, okay, with the wisdom teeth, how many teeth are you supposed to have? Is it like fourteen? Right. Something Not like... everyone has to hassle with wisdom teeth. Some people aren't born with a complete set, and studies have shown that approximately a third of people are born without any today. A third of people. Yep. What? Man, that's, that's wild. Way more than I thought. <laughs> I'm I'm like literally counting my teeth right now. I think I have seven on on each side. I think I have fourteen. That's crazy. That's so cool. I did not know that. So yeah, my sister, my sister was born without wisdom teeth. So you did you did not have to go through any of that nonsense. I think I have my wisdom teeth. I just never. My lower teeth. You should have fourteen, right? I, I don't know. Everyone, everyone, count their teeth really quick. If you've had your wisdom teeth out. Thirty-two in total. Thirty-two in total. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. That's fourteen kg. You might want to recount. I I said fourteen. No, you said seven. I said seven on each side. Fourteen. 28 if you're one of those. Maybe I... Oh, 28 if you have no wisdom teeth. That means I don't have wisdom teeth. I just counted. I have 28 teeth. What happened to my wisdom teeth? Was I just born without wisdom teeth too? No. I guess you were bo weren't born without wisdom teeth. What? What? I don't remember ever having my wisdom teeth taken out. Are you serious? Were we both born without wisdom teeth? That would seem to be the thing. You might have them, but they never erupted. <laughs> Bro, what? 
What? I'm freaking out. Hold on. Am I right? Am I doing this? Oh. 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 Yeah. I have seven on each side. I have 28 teeth. Blah! Okay. I may have just never gotten wisdom teeth. Well, like, if you got them taken out, you would still only have 28. I would. Yeah, but I would remember. I would remember a dentist going in. You would. You would think. There's no way someone would forget someone taking your wisdom teeth out, I, I feel like. Even if you were, like, a young kid, I feel like that's an experience that'd be engraved in your memory forever. Well, you wouldn't get them out necessarily as a young kid. It's when they're coming in that you get them out. Dude, you got ripped off for tooth fairy visits? I did! Did you get them removed, I absolutely babe? did. Yeah? When did you get them removed? I got them removed in high school, and I remember giggling like an idiot coming out. My mom and a nurse had to, had to carry me to the car. Oh. <laughs> and I was laughing my butt off. <laughs> The weird thing is, my dentist was like, I see some spots where it looks like you got them out. And I was like, no. <laughs> Are you sure you'd remember? I, how could I not remember you something like that? If you were young enough, like middle school, and they were coming in, it is possible. And maybe you don't remember it as well. Because, man, KG, the stuff they give you knocks you out. Kat, do you remember? Do you remember at all? Getting, getting your wisdom teeth taken out. But, like, the dentist didn't even know, right? Your dentist didn't even know that you had... They the were missing. The reason why I remember is me leaving and how much I was hilariously laughing and I asked them to keep my teeth. Or if I could keep my teeth. I, I would have... Yeah, you're right. I would have gone under. You asked Dad and he said no? Oh, my God. <laughs> what happened to our wisdom teeth? You didn't grow them. I or guess. Like, what... What someone else said, they just never emerged. They're just in your mouth. They're just in my Waiting. mouth. <laughs> They're just vibing in the back of my jaw somewhere. Oh, man. All right. Well, I've discovered something new about myself today, thanks to this stream. Yeah, time to ask Dad. Have you ever had my wisdom teeth taken out without telling me? Had we never had this conversation? Did I just wake up one day and that had happened? Did you ferry me to the dentist while I was unconscious? Uh, anyway. Anyway. Uh, no, they're not even there. There's nothing on the x-ray. So you were just probably born without them. You were probably born without them. He has so many patents. <laughs> he does. He does. My Our dad has a ridiculous amount of um, medical patents. Um, he... If you ever go into a hospital... A lot of that emergency, uh, like, uh, like that critical care medicine stuff, like that was his, his research institute. That was like his team. So like, um, if you ever see like a, a portable defibrillator in, in any building, that was him. That was my dad. Uh, him and his team created that thing. So any portable defibrillator, any automatic chest compressor, that's him. Um, my mom, uh, my mom had a hand in that thing where they induce artificial hypothermia when you have a heart attack now sometimes. So like, instead of giving you a huge shot of epinephrine, which would like hurt your heart, um, they uh, put you in a cold blanket and you go under in like a hyperthermic thing. And once you hit hypothermia, your heart slows down, right? So, so that um, that makes it so that your heart uh, is in a stable place for them to get you in the hospital on time. But at the same time, it doesn't damage anything in there by the epinephrine shot. Um, you got one of those in your office? Fantastic. Uh, so yeah. Um, they also patented something about using cannabinoids for heart attacks. <laughs> That's cool. But yeah, so uh, me and my sister come from a medical family, um, and our family has a bunch of these, um, or not our family, my dad, our dad has a bunch of these patents to his name. Uh, so yeah, every anytime you walk by a, a portable defibrillator, you can think of me and my sister and my dad. <laughs> Alright, so, thanks KG's dad. Alright guys. Well, we have signed all our prints. We've discovered some things about ourselves that may be uncomfortable or, you know, surprising. Like, I don't know what happened to my wisdom teeth. 
I don't know if I was born without them. You probably them or, weren't born with them. Or I could have gotten them out, and I just don't remember for some reason. It's possible. You know. um, oh, also, another thing my dad does, just while we're going out. You know, the <clears throat> when you train to get licensed for CPR, um, they update those guidelines every five years. That's also him. At least that was him for uh, the past couple times. Um, him and his team update the the text in there so i know last time they're moving away from um um mouth to mouth stuff because every second you're off the chest um uh, their their chances of of survival go down drastically so if you ever perform cpr on someone remember the blowing into the mouth and lungs are now less important um than staying on the chest you know when you go down when you go down from a heart attack your lungs still have some air in it uh, so that should, you know, help keep you oxygenated. Uh, the really, it, it's really the chest compressions. You really want to stay on those chest compressions. Um, right, like, if, if there's two people there, sure, have someone do the mouth-to-mouth -mouth thing, right? But you always, always want to be um, doing the chest compressions. Yeah, like my sister, to circulating blood that still has oxygen. So, you know, medical facts. For, for, for an entertainment stream. <laughs> Lindsay, Lindsay, yes. I, my, our, our dad is a crazy medical guy. He does all that stuff. Uh, the more you know. <laughs> but yes, thank you guys so much for dropping by. Um, uh, for, for obtaining some medical knowledge. May it help you save a life or two in the future. Um, yeah, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get this uh, electricity thing taken care of so we can go back to streaming. Um, and yeah, have a great one, you guys. Yeah, and we'll hopefully see some of you at the cons. Yeah, soon. see you, see you guys at the cons coming up. See you at uh, ColossalCon, AVOX, YumiCon, um, ICON coming up for Canada.